So we're running out of things to do in the battle zone here. So um, let's go east, I guess, and check out um, that area east of Stark Mountain, which we did not explore yet. Route 228. Now, it's really sandy here. It's like a big giant sandstorm. Do you have any knowledge of levels and stats here, Pokemon? I do. Oh my goodness, you mean you know how to press X and go to Pokemon and, and look at your stats? Wow, really impressive. I'm very impressed, dude. Way to go. All right, this guy has a Golduck on his team and a Manectric. And he must know the stats and levels of them pretty well. Way to go, not like most trainers don't know this stuff. And a Sand Slash just to uh, round it out. Down here we can find a um, another protector, as a matter of fact. So just in case you want two Rhyperiors, you can get two Rhyperiors. My quest for power brought me here. Accept my challenge! Rawr! All right, let's accept this guy's challenge. Black Belt. David, is it? That one? one of them. He's got a Tyrogue on his team. And he also has a Makita. And finishes it up with a Machamp. Level 57. Now, the levels have gotten slightly weaker since uh, Stark Mountain, so that's kind of good. Okay, right here in the middle of the desert, you'll find a new area um, just containing a hard stone here. After, uh, if you have the Reggie Gigas from the Toys R Us event, bring it in your party and then go back there, and you can find a uh, Reggie Rock to battle, which is kind of neat. I'll show you that later on, okay? But for right now, you can pick up a hard stone there, and an iron nearby, too. Hey, what's up with that? There's an iron. What's an iron doing in a place like this? Alright, speaking of what are you doing in a place like this, this guy up here, he's just randomly waiting up here with his dragon Pokemon in tow. Dragon Tamer Keegan, he's got a Trap Inch in his team, which has more attack power than you'd think for a little guy like that, but other than that, it's pretty slow and pretty inefficient at battling. And he has a Vagrava at level 57. Um, sort of past him, you can find this ramp thing. Let's see if I can get up on there. Tells effect wore off. Oh, I'm so skilled to be able to do this with no thumbs and, um, like while filming. It's just, it's a pain. Things you take for granted, like thumbs. Ugh. So difficult for me to get up on these ledges sometimes. Not because I'm not good at it, but just because you're trying to do it with just your index finger and your middle finger trying to ooh, mess with that D-pad. Anyway, right here you find a uh, shiny stone. Ooh, shiny. I like shiny. Please don't hold anything back. Sure, you know what? I wasn't planning on it anyway. Just for you, special deal. I will give you even more pain. Okay? Hmm, sand slash. Let's see. Alright, it'll have a sand veil, so there's a chance your attacks may miss against it, since there's a sandstorm. She also has a Claydol and a Gastrodon on her team, but it's probably the sand slash you need to worry most about, just because your attacks may miss. Now over here, which is sort of south of her, you can find this Shed Shell here, which keeps the Magnazones from terrorizing your Pokémon in a competitive battle. Other than that, it probably will do you zero good in this game, unless you're looking for Wubbuffets or something. Inside this house, this dude will teach you the ultimate moves, which are Frenzy Plant, Blast Burn, and um, Hydro Cannon. But they're essentially just uh, elemental hyper beams, so I don't recommend teaching them to your Pokémon. Really, if you want to be a noob, go ahead, but they really... You're better off with much different options, like Leaf Storm or overheat, or something like that. Hydro Pump, for all I care. I mean, those moves are actually decent. Or can be. But the Hyper Beam moves, the Elemental Hyper Beams, no. So these two trainers here, they've got some Pokemon on their team. One of them had a Marowak, if you saw, and weren't listening to my rambling. This guy, he has a uh, Execute and an Empoleon. Huh, interesting. I want to see new Pokemon, not that thing. And a Zangu. So there's a kind of newer Pokemon to see. Not 
technically new, but oh well. Oh, and it's protected by mist, too. Hey, how cool! I wish I were protected by mist in the sandstorm. Speaking of sandstorm, you can find uh, the TM for sandstorm right south of those two trainers. Almost to the end. What sort of moves have you caught? That told you how good you are. Whatever, I wasn't listening. You expect me to listen? Um, she has a Del Caddy on her team. Level 57. What else does she have? She has a... Oh, an Obama Snow. Uh-oh. It's gonna turn it to hail now. Wee. Either way, I'm being damaged each turn. Just lovely. Okay, again, let's see if I can get up on this ledge. This is so hard to do with just your index finger and your middle finger just trying to do this while being delayed with the camera screen. So it's like... Because I'm, I'm watching this through my camera screen because the DS is tilted at such an angle. Just while I'm recording, that's part of the process. So I'm doing a little dance for joy there. I just got up there. There's a house to the northwest that you can go into, and you can hear about Cyrus's sad past. But it's kind of boring, and moral of the story is, you know, the grandpa should have taken care of him rather than let this dude get all obsessed with technology and stuff. Um, so this psychic, he predicts he's going to lose. Wow, what a great prediction. Spot on, too. Because, as a matter of fact, he did just lose. So, um, let's slide down here. I think we've seen just about everything there is on Route 228, so let's head south to Route 229. Which, in uh, Diamond and Pearl, didn't look quite as fresh, I don't think. This looks even more like a jungle or something. It's kind of cool. I mean, maybe it's just me. I don't remember it fully, but... Pretty neat regardless. Anyway, here's a trainer here. She has a Doug Trio on her team. It's only level 55, so they are gradually weakening as you move along. A Raichu only at level 54. And a Ninetale, so that's kind of cool, level 54 as well. Um, over here you can find a Full Restore, which is just lovely. Um, but more importantly, sort of nearby, uh, this guy right here. You can talk to him. Did you miss me? But alas, I don't, so I'll have to make it up to you with this. He gives you a nugget, because he's not going to give you a nugget of information. Oh, but guess what? He gives you another nugget. He gives you two nuggets. Those are my nuggets. Try to spend them wisely. Okay, don't spend them all in one place. Now, right here, if you have cut, you can get a um, Reaper Cloth, I think, for your Dust Clops. But I forgot to uh, bring a Pokemon with cut, so I can't get there. Sorry. Anyway, I'm just pointing it out there for you. There's some more stuff you can get in the southeastern corner if you have Surf and Cut, but I only have one of those, and it's not Cut. This guy here has a Dusclops and a Salamence. Now, that Salamence may be a little rough on you if you're not prepared for it. Fortunately, I'm prepared for it, and I took it out with, like, two shots Psychic. Did pretty good. And Ace Trainer Dana here, right next to that last guy, she has a Mighty Anna, which also has Intimidate, as a matter of fact. So that'll uh, lower your active Pokemon's Tax that by a bit, and then a Curlia, so she's not quite as threatening as the other guy. Um, let's see, move on along. South here we find the resort area. That will make me, that will make it love it. Whatever. Giggle? <laughs> she goes, giggle. <laughs> There's plenty to see and do here. Not really, but I'm just saying that. But you can get some cool stuff. Like over here, you can get, surprise, it's another nugget. Wow, cool. You get rich over in this part of the world. Awesome. So let's uh, surf along here. Find a Pokemon Center right there. And if you go up, I'll talk to her. My dearest Pokemon will be treated to dreamy experiences. You know how you can dig up cool stuff in the underground? They're digging up new, cooler stuff. That's true. Actually, if you go to the underground now, you can get more stuff. Wait, no, no, no. It's not what you're thinking. This is no scam. See, in fact, you'll be doing me a favor. I don't need it either. Just say a word. Just not in this villa is yours. Wow. Sounds like the uh, recession's hitting here, even even in this really rich place. Wow. So, okay, I go over here. This guy gives me a free villa just for walking by? Something shady about this. Is this, like, in foreclosure or something? I don't know, man. There's nothing in here. It's barren, but he's going to he's gonna give me a free table, which is great. Now, this place here, it's a great place if you want to go and waste your money on a bunch of expensive stuff that doesn't do anything. That's what I want to do all day, okay? Now that I have my house here, it's my own house. Hey, Barry, news travels fast. You got yourself a villa now. Give me something. He's going to tell everyone I got a villa, so party over here. 
Um, let's see. Here's some of the stuff you can get, and you can see it has a very big price tag on it. My goodness. I get poor over here, I tell ya. Um, hmm. But, anyway, you can have people stop by every now and then, and, um, the more stuff you get, the more stuff is there. Now, this guy, he's talking about the mind-blowing ruler. That is a level 100 Magikarp. If you use a super rod there, you can fish for up to level 100 Magikarps. And right here's the uh, ribbon place, ribbon syndicate, but you can't go in there unless you have enough ribbons on your active Pokemon. So we're going to wrap up our exploration of the battle zone in the next episode and continue showing you some cool stuff.